morning. It's uh, Thursday, the 7th of February, and it's the morning, and um, I think I have my uh, Gigabyte Month Load replacement, we're going to find out if it's the right revision number. Um, just want to read the email that I sent to Gigabyte, and the, the, the response I got, which was quite quickly, I sent an email like, on Saturday, and I think they came back to me, I think it was Monday or Tuesday. Um, so, my email to them was, uh, topic, um, MB motherboard GA7. Z77X UD5H BIOS startup debug led codes uh, 15 then 53 followed by the restart which is a problem I was having in Saturday night um, sorry Saturday morning I'll start up by the following debug led codes regular boot code 15 pre-memory CPU north bridge in initialization is started which I assume means the Intel chip is initiated um, still not sure what that means uh, and if uh, you could leave some comments below, um, for those that do know, that'd be really helpful. And then I get an error message, uh, which is 15, 50, 53, 50 to 55. Memory initialization error occurs, which I'm not sure which memory this refers to either. Um, reading around the boards, I, I did actually think it was a RAM, but I think there's some sort of BIOS memory that's initialized at the start. Um, and uh, all the testing I did, I have the same code sequence without RAM, I have the same code sequence with one 8 gigabyte RAM of Vengeance RAM placed in all four slots and tested in turn. So I took one stick of 8 gigabyte Vengeance RAM, tested each slot in turn, didn't make any difference. I have the same code sequence with one 4 gigabytes of RAM of integral DDR3 MHz 1333 DIM RAM in all four slots. What memory is the BIOS trying to initialize? Would this be the RAM or the hard disk? This is the quote I'm asking Gigabyte. Aside from the return to you, um, I asked for the most recent version of the Gigabyte motherboard. As I understand, there is revision 1.1. So the one they sent me was 1.0. Um, so the other thing, I've also tried a clear CMOS and I've also taken the battery out. Um, but that didn't really change it. So this, the advice they came back to me was please troubleshoot one more time there may be things that cause system not boots up here is the troubleshoot procedure remove the board out of the case chassis and test on the bench so the bench I'm going to be using is going to be my breakfast table please make sure that the 4 8 pin 12 volt connector and the motherboard 20 24 pin connector are both plugged just install the CPU video card single stick of memory on one slot which is close to the CPU and a PC speaker Turn system on. If no video display comes up, check error beep code. So if everything boots up fine, it goes to video. All right. One long continuous beep. It means memory can't pass BIOS check. Try reinstall memory or try other brand name of memory. Three beeps or two long and eight short beeps. Then two, then one. It means the video card can't pass the BIOS check. Try installing the video card firmly or try another video card. No beep at all. Try remove the memory. Without memory, turn system on. Check if any beeping signal. Without memory, still no beeping signal. Symptom tells either the motherboard or the CPU is defective. Test CPU in other system or test with another known good CPU to confirm detected motherboard. Well, I can't do that because I don't really have the means to get alternative. But we know this is a new motherboard, so if we get the same error again, then I know it's going to be the CPU, which I really don't want to have to send back. But let's see. So uh, I'm going to unbox everything and set up, which I don't really think there's any value to have on camera. So the next time we should be ready for a bench test. Okay, thank you.